Oh, why, hello there. This week is midterms week. And you know what that means. Stress, depressed, and I don't really know what else rhymes with those. Hi everyone, my name is Miko. I'm a visual communication design major in my senior year. I'm gonna tell you guys all about what's going on in a productive day in my life during midterms. But first, let's make some matcha. Today we're trying. <laughs> We got the goods. I made one for you guys. You know what would low-key make this taste better? I added an espresso shot. And I also changed my clothes just to get a little comfy for a little story time. Pretty good. Okay, so let's start what a productive day in my life looks like during midterms week. Just like any day, I like to start off and go do my morning routine. Do my whole little face wash, toner, and serum. Oh, and we can't forget the most important one, sunscreen. Don't forget to put it on. It's the most important thing. Like, come on. And so basically when I'm all ready, I go and get all my little essentials for the day. And we go meet up with the person I hang out with the most during the school year, Angie. We have made it. It's midterms week. They were already struggling. But it's on Monday. I'm gonna take you guys through the day. We got ourselves some coffee. Are you drinking my coffee? We both got ice brown sugar lattes. And I got one with an extra shot of espresso. And then she got hers like regular. God damn! Okay, let it go. We usually get to school a little early. We like to go into an empty room in the art building and try and get some work done. I like to take this time to catch up on any work for my VCD classes, if I have any, or usually because all my GEs are online, I will take that time to do the work. And also who ended up joining in was Shay and Belle. This is the first time I've actually haven't had an actual midterms test for my GEs. Oh, maybe just because it's online or not, but I'm not complaining. But the one thing I will complain about, not, not about the quizzes that we have and all that, but it's the discussion board. The discussion board. The discussion boards. Uh, discussion board. So easy, but then also so annoying at the same time. Like it's pretty tedious. You have the usual like introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Miko Miranda and I'm a VCD major. I'm my fourth year here. Sorry about that. When all is said and done, and it's time to go to class, because we're in the art building already, I just go downstairs to one of my classes, which on Mondays at 1 p.m. is 5D. So this is what 5D is, essentially. User control and user interface. Why am I laying like this? We've been working on this one project for almost the whole semester. During midterms week, we needed to have the wireframes and our idea pretty much set in stone. We were tasked to design a note-taking app based on our partner's wants and needs. So after doing a couple interviews with my partner that I was assigned to, we had to design a little paper mock-up of what it looked like. Here's what it is. Called my note easy, partner wanted something that was very simple and something that replicated using just a notebook and pencil. My partner gets a little overwhelmed with all the features that a lot of note-taking apps have. Wanted to simulate what it would be to have a notebook in your backpack on an iPad, if that makes sense. I don't think that made sense. I don't know, kind of overthinking this. Here's my paper mock-up, boom. Next up is the notebook catalog. So you got features like creating a new notebook and then some previous notebooks. This is the feature if you were to create a new notebook, it looks something like this. And finally, this is what the user interface would look like when my partner would be using it. It just has your simple features of undo, redo, pencil, eraser, highlighter, save slash export, and a settings or possibly an options tab. I'm kind of figuring it out as we go. So yeah, we started off with those paper mockups and then we got to go get feedback, not only from our partner, but from other people around the classes. Got that feedback and we were finally able to start putting it into our wireframes. Probably by the time I'm done editing this, this is what the deliverable looks like. It's lunchtime, baby. My big back. I was so excited to eat my food. I forgot to record it. But I had chow mein, egg, 
and chicken. And then I made her chicken rice and egg. For me, that's my only class of the day, but Angie still has another class. So as she goes to her other class, I go to the gym. Finally get paid for the get down. You can't tell me now about time. Do you know how many lines I done pit down? Vibes I done sent out, but we in here to dig. I love the market till they come red carpet and kids. Success still the target. So working I'm out. Mile times have been pretty, pretty decent. We're going in a pretty good trend. I've been making some pretty good progress so far. Um, sadly, we did have a little bump in the road. So those who know me know I don't really like splurging on myself unless usually only on my birthday and stuff. But because I kind of had to, I got new running shoes. These are the Nike V2Ks, specifically in this color, I was able to get it 55% off. So instead of, I think it was like 160, I think I was able to, after shipping and stuff, I got it for like 60, 70 bucks around there. I'd give it a solid eight out of 10 shoe. I think I need to break it in more because right now I definitely do love these. I should have probably tried to find another one of these, but these were super soft, like, Running in these felt like I was running on a cloud. I'm, I'm gonna miss these so much. Maybe I'll get another pair of these one day, but I'll update you guys the more I use them. Look at that guy right there. Look at that guy. All right, we're back in ceramics. So the project that I've been working on for the last few weeks has been these pinch pots projects. I haven't been able to show the rest of the process, but we finished and we glazed them. So this is what they look like. This caveman bowl looking one. That's what my professor called it. I think it came out pretty nice. I tried to do two different colors. Oh, and we got this other random one. It came out like a nice, like grayish blue. Sadly, a lot of the texture I did on it got a little muted because of the glaze. So for future projects, I got to figure that out. And the last one was a matcha bowl. It's my favorite one. It's two of my favorite types of green. But the same thing is like all the carvings I did, it, um, it didn't translate well. And then on to the sculpture I've been doing too. Practically finished with the whole sculpture thing or with the sculpture part. I now gotta paint it and glaze it. So I think I'm just gonna paint the fur and then go play around with the helmet for the glaze cause there's a lot of battle scars on it and I wanna get that look. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Chicken nugget. Chicken nugget on a barbecue stick. Mm. back in the illustration room i'm going to go and work on some video edit the ocean side video is right here link in the bio go check it out it's a pretty good one i'm gonna go edit that right now Finally. We're going home ah. at 9.50. And after all that, that's pretty much how the day ends. It was probably my most productive day during midterms. They still had classes for the rest of the week, doing everything else. And obviously after midterms week, we had to reward ourselves. Dead, finish midterm week. I'm technically not done because I have one that's due on Monday. And am I really gonna do it right now? Not really, I'm gonna wait. But it's almost done, it's basically done. But we're done. Time to go get some booze. Didn't you get the same thing as me? Ready? Three, two, one. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to. If not, that's all good. And until next time, we're done.